Hi friends, good evening. Today it is uh, 10th April 2022 and the time is 8 p.m. Uh, today we had an uh, exciting webinar on how to catch the uh, future trend change dates uh, uh, in the webinar. People are literally uh, amazed to see how uh, it worked uh, in the past by comparing the past dates and how it worked in future. They are literally amazed. So I've given them, given them some homework to do it. So they are going to come out with the out, uh, no, uh, outcome of uh, stocks also. Uh, so the next week webinar will be amazing to watch how those dates worked. Uh, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a very simple thing, but it worked like mad. Okay, chalo. So now uh, let's go to the today's uh, uh, the, you know, uh, presentation. And uh, this is going to be a weekly forecast for coming week. So now, uh, if you go to my last week forecast for 4th April to 8th April, and these are the four companies which I mentioned is uh, in limelight, which is BEL, BHEL, Galen, and NTPC. And you all know what happened to all these four stocks. And my critical thing is was Nifty PSU. And I have not talked about this Nifty PSU last week only. I have given him indication Three weeks before is something is cooking big time in Nifty PSE, and last week I covered it. And uh, BHL was a real rocker. Uh, sorry, BL was a real rocker. NTPC from 134 to 154, Gale did very well. BHL from 50, it went to 56, it went to 58. Little bit of cooling off, but still, you know, a long thing to catch up. So now uh, the last week my uh, counter was TBS Motor. So let's see what is going to do tomorrow. So this was my last week forecast. So now we will go to the this week forecast. So now uh, you all know that you know Nifty has not given a you know a genuine buy here, so it is struggling. So now it has not closed above, even though this is green. According to me, it is red because this is a fake signal. Okay, so now it has not closed above this seventh date high. The seventh date high was one seven seven eight seven point five. It closed below three points. So now, if it breaks and closes above this date high, which is 6th April high, it's going to bust. If it goes below this date low, which is 7th low, it's going to come down. So let's watch it. But according to me, this is immaterial for me. For me, tomorrow is the second trend change date. First 15 minutes high and low will do the magic. The only problem is this week, we have only three days for our uh, you know expiry so we had only four days normally it will be five days so the big guys don't know what they are going to do whether they are going to screw as on eating the premium or they are going to take the you know writers call writers or the put writers for a task so all this will be decided by tomorrow's high and low and for a traders for tomorrow first 15 minutes high and low will do the magic Below this date low, it's going to go down badly. Below this date high, which is sixth high, it's going to bust out one side. And trend change date normally gives 200 to 250 points in Nifty and 750 points to 1000 points in Bank Nifty. Let's watch what's going to do for tomorrow. So this is on Nifty. I don't want to put graph trend line and all that. Let's go to Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty has not given a buy till now. It's a morning star pattern. So above 7th high, bullish. Below 7th low, it is bearish. So very simple kind of a thing. Again, first 15 minutes high and low for tomorrow, we'll do the magic. So no need to talk more about the graph. So let's go to the very important topic, which I want to cover. Kindly mark this in your uh, trading system. So this is nifty on a weekly front, okay? This week was very, very crucial, which was 10th January week. Mark the high and low. This is Bank Nifty on a weekly. Mark the high and low of this week. If it closes above 10th January week high, 10th January means 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. That, it's a weekly candle. Close above this week high, it is bullish. Until it is below, it is bearish only. It is bearish only. So this is a very, very important week for Bank Nifty. And the next important week is coming in the month of January 2023. 
So you need to wait and watch. And if you go, the next uh, thing is coming in 2024. So as of now, mark this high and low of this date of 10th January week high and low, which is 38.851 is the high and the low is 37.929. And I've mentioned many times that 37,929, 37,929 in my PPT because of this only. So watch out till it is below 37,929, it is bearish only based on weekly. So it has to close above the weekly high, which is 38,851.45. So this is for Bank Nifty on a weekly front. Coming to Nifty. 25th October, 25th October uh, weekly, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th. So this week high and low is very crucial. The high was 18,342.05 and the low was 17,613.09. And Bank Nifty last week gave a doji candle and closed in between the high and low of 25th October. This is purely based on time and not on price. But if you see the high made here on 18th October, actually the high made was 19th October, but this high week is not crucial. The crucial week is this week high, which is 24th October, 25th October to 29th October. So mark this in your calendar, in your trading system and watch the fun and watch the fun. It has to close above this week high, not this week high. This, once it closes above this week high, all the high will be taken out easily. 18,604, everything will be uh, taken out very easily. So watch out for this. And the next important week coming for Nifty is 15th August 2022. 15th, 16, 17, 18, 19. That week, August. 15th August, 16th August, 17th August, 18th August, and 19th August. So that week high and low is very, very crucial for Nifty going forward on a weekly basis. Okay. And 28, 20th April, 29, 20th April is a mega day for Nifty. And the presentation, the webinar which I talked about today, that is based on that only. And uh, people are really excited to watch what's going to happen on that day. And I've told them how I derived that rate. And uh, people are really now waiting and watching for that 20th April date. I'm also watching and I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but something big is going to happen on that date, which is 20th April 2022. So watch it. Let's see what happens on that day. So I've given the date. I've given the uh, you know numbers also on a weekly front and on a daily front. Tomorrow high and low is very crucial. And for trading, first 15 minutes, high and low. Finished. Okay, so now let's go to the PPT. So now <clears throat> I've already marked, uh, mentioned this on first week of April, that 11th April is the Ichimoku date. Watch it. So tomorrow's high and low is very crucial for Nifty as well as Bank Nifty. Next is 14th and 18, 19, 20 is the combination date. And today I've told in webinar why 18, 19, 20 is very, very crucial. Let's see what happens. But according to me, 20th April is the D day. It's a D day. Let's watch. So now tomorrow, I will give uh, uh, you know weekly number by nine o seven, uh, weekly magical game changer number by nine o seven, and uh, okay. So pivot number is here seventeen seven seven seven. Nifty close there only, and Bank Nifty. This was the important number even on RBI day. It works like crazy. So that is our pivot for this week. And the resistance number I've given, support number I have given on Bank Nifty. This is on daily, not on weekly. Okay. Above 38025, it will bust. And below 37434, it will go down. So watch out for these two numbers in Bank Nifty. If it is trading within this level, it is for option writers. Okay. And I've already talked about both Nifty and Bank Nifty made a doji candle on a weekly front. And Nifty futures numbers converged on Friday. So expecting one side big move in next two days, mostly tomorrow is the you know, 10 change date. 
I am expecting some kind of a big move tomorrow. But see, uh, I don't know, know what uh, you know, FIs are planning because uh, we have only four days to expire and we have only three days this week. Okay. So, and I have clearly said what to do for tomorrow. 11th April is the important date. First 30 minutes, high, 15 minutes high and low, we'll do the magic. And uh, Bank Nifty, uh, you know, on a daily uh, thing, it uh, formed a you know, morning star pattern. Break above 7th April high, it is bullish. Break below 7th April low, it is bearish. Very simple. Okay. And metal index, you all know, uh, if you'd have seen my previous weekly observation video, which I put, uh, you know, yesterday, uh, our all the five targets was achieved on, uh, you know, uh, uh, metals. Uh, 6765 is done. I'm expecting another 7% ra 9% rally from here. Let's watch whether it's going to be a zigzag kind of a move, but on or before, June 2022, it should touch 20% more from 11th February high, which is 6077. If you take from the down, it is already done 20%. Not that. I need to take from 11th February high, which is 6067, right? But from the February, if you take till date, it has already done 20%. But that is not the question here, okay? So watch out for that. And Bharati had to do my another four rupees. IFL finance, silent mover from 292 to 333. 10% is already done. Above 343, the next target is 377. Okay. And expecting some big move in TVS motor. Let's see. Anything above 656, I'm expecting something big in this counter. Any close above 665, target 729. And bra uh, grassing, I, we already bought yesterday and we talked about this grassing today on our webinar, why we are bullish on this counter. Uh, to the uh, no webinar attendees and I've given the target also. Uh, ninth is the important trend change date and it is holiday. So first 15 minutes, I and low of 11th is very important, which is tomorrow. Break above 1785, these are the targets above 2016 the next final target for me is as of now which is 2252 so watch out for grassim and uh, this i have given uh, you know delivery pick long term pick uh, buy above only above 196 on a closing basis target 252 297 322 it's a long term pick and we are going to buy trend based on the one magic number on monthly on monday which is tomorrow based on the first 15 minutes high and low candle so these are the stocks in my radar apart from the TCD counters of tomorrow, which is emphasis and IGL. IGL is having the yearly date tomorrow. So mark the high and low of IGL for tomorrow, uh, high and low and use it wisely. It will give some big move on the upside or on the downside if it breaks tomorrow slow. And for trading, first 15 minutes high and low of emphasis and IGL is more than enough to capture some big move tomorrow for intraday basis. Okay, so now coming to this, yeah, I've already marked this one. Okay, uh, Hindustan Lever and Britannia, I've already talked about doing a good thing. And uh, Nifty uh, FMCG, the entire credit goes to none other than ITC. Let's see whether, uh, you know, Britannia and, uh, you know, HUL is going to uh, lead the uh, rally also. Britannia closed, uh, Britannia, uh, the trend change date was, uh, one second, Britannia, where is Britannia? Yeah, the fourth high was Britannia's date. It closed above fourth high. Uh, so it is looking good. And Hindustan Lever yesterday, sorry, day before, watch that. And Kedila, it made a pin bar pattern yesterday on a trend change date. And there was a free flow of 352. According to me, bottom is done in Kedila till it holds yesterday's low because it is a trend change date also. So above, if it close above yesterday's high, you can simply buy with the stop loss of yesterday's low, but the stop loss is big. Uh, normally, I don't, I don't take the risk of trading that kind of a counter. We will try to use our own system, trading system to buy this company with a very small stop loss. But you can mark yesterday's high and low of Zydas Life, which is Kedila. Watch out for this company. Okay. And these are for 11th, uh, you know, intraday uh, numbers for long side, short side, bank nifty, long side, short side. And 
intraday decider positional decider and uh, daily that is also convert that's why you know it is converged so this is one resistance on the top which is 17912 watch out for this number break above this it's a big rally on the upside let's watch tomorrow and i already given the numbers here market in a calendar if it it breaks then the support is at 17419 as of now and all these number is already here this is nifty future and this is nifty spot so nifty spot i have given the weekly numbers watch out for this and the uh, bearish number i have marked here so watch out for this and bank nifty all the four are in green so nothing to worry about bank nifty but nifty number converge bank nifty is not converge we don't know whether bank nifty is going to rock tomorrow nifty is going to rock tomorrow but anyway whatever rock it's going to rock tomorrow let's watch uh, you know for a big move tomorrow hopefully and uh, bank nifty number i have given here sell number i have given here this is the pivot number right so now coming to uh, stocks <laughs> uh these are the trend change date stocks uh, the big miss was our chola finance uh it, the date was 6th april uh but it has not closed above 708 uh, day before that is on thursday so that's why we didn't buy but next day it bounced because this month i have already mentioned uh in my previous uh, you know uh, videos that chola finance is having two dates this month and this guy rocked literally and i am watching another thing is canfin home we already discussed about canfin home today in our webinar uh, apart from canfin home uh, jindal steel did well above the high so many companies did well and tomorrow we will watch even z also and tata Mot tvs motor is in our radar so watch out for tvs motor for tomorrow deepak fertilizers is also in my radar okay so now coming to this coming sign it update that's all okay so now these two for tomorrow and april 12th is oracle finance and april 13th is balakrishna and chola finance again and april 15th on the holiday so all this we will see next week so oh uh, i think uh, i covered everything and uh, we have taken position in grassin and i will in initiate uh, the long position or the short position because we don't hold any position in nifty as of now based on tomorrow's 15 minutes high and low we'll initiate the position as of now uh, if you go to my system in 15 minutes it has not given a buy till now <coughs> bank nifty and nifty also so once it gives a buy on 15 minutes we will try to buy and we will try to ride the trend on the upside based on 5 minutes it has given a buy so that's why we closed our position which we initiated the short here at 17991 we covered the short yesterday but we have not initiated the buy so this this is a short here it's 17948 and from there it came down up to 17603 roughly around 350 points but we covered here only which is 17778 so we have not gone long uh, because tomorrow is the trend change date So we will try to initiate the position tomorrow based on first 15 minutes high and low, and we will mark the tomorrow's high and low for the trend rider for the whole week. So that's how uh, I just want to close the presentation. Try to attend the webinar every week. I am giving something new to my uh, you know uh, attendees. They are learning something new, and all uh, topic which I am covering is on very very small topic, but it's very very powerful, very powerful. I uh, know decision is up to you. Okay, thanks a lot for watching this video. Again, saying I'm not a savvy investor investment advisor, so kindly do your homework or consult your financial advisors before taking any position in any uh, stocks or any financial instruments. Thanks a lot. See you soon tomorrow. Good night. Bye.